to show you how to scan photos, go ahead and click on the scanner icon on the bottom of your desktop. While you're waiting, I would click the button on the back of the scanner on and off to make it warm up a little quicker. As it warms up, it's going to scan the inside of the bed. And then you're ready to make all your settings. On the right side, keep it on flatbed, change it to color. Millions is fine. The resolution I would mark up to 200 dpi. And the size can stay custom. We'll set it on our own. Auto selection off. What's important is to scan your images to the desktop and rename all your scan images to the project name and your last name. Format is always a JPEG and everything else you can leave how it is. Go ahead and press scan when you're ready. You're going to select the entire area to scan. It does take a minute or two but once it's scanned, it's going to show up on your desktop. Go ahead and click that image when it shows up. And as you can see, it definitely needs some editing. It has a tint of green to it. With most black and white prints, it's usually normal. So we're going to rotate it, crop it, and all the tools are right there for you to use. Click that little triangle icon. And I definitely want you to pull down the saturation so that it's black and white. And then also adjust your exposure and contrast. I always adjust the contrast to be a little bit more harsh to get rid of any scan lines on the image. And if I need to, adjust the exposure here or there. But I don't want it to look like a different print. I still want it to look like the print that I've scanned. So once you're satisfied with your editing, you can click out. It's going to automatically save onto your desktop. Then I'd like you to open your Google Drive, sign into your email, and you're going to keep all your images in a folder labeled photography for this class. So keep updating your folder as you go along. Keep all your images saved in your drive. I do delete things off the desktop now and again.